family drama. Oof. Um, now, family drama can take different forms. Um, I'll share a story with you, a uh, very sad one actually, a, a woman who um, I know of whose significant other uh, died. So they were uh, not married, but they have um, a minor child um, in common, a little girl. And prior to this gentleman's death, um, the family was, you know, they had decent a decent relationship with her. They were kind to her as well as the minor child. Um, however, once he died, it's like the nails came out. Um, the daggers came out and they tried to shut this woman out of everything. All the funeral arrangements, they just were blocking her out and making her feel, you know, like other, like, you know, just not, you're not part of us. You're not included. Just stay away. So that was the message they were communicating to her. So in the midst of her grieving, she had to deal with this kind of drama, like, you know, what, what's going on? Why are you shutting me out? So not to mention the fact that the minor child is seeing all this tension and drama. Um, you know, she didn't ask for it, but you know, this is, this is what it is. Um, so that's, that's very unfortunate. Um, then there's another example um, I've heard of when people, even siblings, just stop talking to each other and no one knows why. Like after someone dies and then people just all of a sudden they just stop talking to each other. Or if they, you know, or if they do say something, no one will talk about the reason why there's this, you know, all of a sudden this tension. There may have been unresolved conflicts that are just bubbling to the surface, you know, or just, you know, just about when this person died. And this person may have been, you know, in some families, the glue that held, you know, the family together. And now that person's no longer there. So all the drama, all the headaches, all the conflicts are just rising to the surface. So, you know, that's just something that you need to be prepared for. And this, things like this happen in the quote unquote best of families, um, whatever that means. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's unfortunate. You have to be prepared for it. Death is a very jarring, traumatic experience and people process death in different ways. Um, as we've been told by therapists who have been on this show, um, you know, it's not easy. So meanwhile, you're there just trying, maybe trying to get some information from this particular family member in order to move the case along and you have no idea that there's all this like cloud of drama um you know around you so you know i mention these two examples because estate planning and estate administration or probate it involves human beings it involves families and families can be complicated as my colleagues who handle family law matters will attest they're complicated. And if it's necessary to seek the help of a, you know, professional therapist or a counselor to help guide families through certain dra trauma, um, you're really encouraged uh, to do so. Um, you know, but sometimes that's not an option. You know, sometimes you are the, the one, you are the, you are the person who has got to shepherd this estate through the process in the midst of this, you know, hailstorm um, that may be going on around you. And you just, honestly, you have to do the best you can. Um, it really helps to have the assistance of, um, you know, a professional, uh, an estate administration, a probate attorney by your side, shepherding you, holding your hand throughout the process, even though as personal representative, you know, the job is yours to, you know, do the things that personal representatives are required to do, um, you know, get um, an accounting of the estate and all the other things, but an attorney can help you 
fulfill your duties as personal representative if that falls on you, if you are the one that's appointed. Um, you know, and we've 